Hey guys, it's Shantrinas and I am back with another makeup tutorial. So this whole look is going to be all under $20. This is stuff that I found at Ulta, um, at the drugstore, CVS, Walgreens, stuff like that. And to start off, I'm going to be using my Wet n Wild Coal Liner. This is an eyeliner that I believe is only like $3 or even less than that, honestly, like $2. And it's just the dark brown Wet n Wild Liner. And I'm taking my e.l.f. gel liner. This is only $3 at your local anywhere, pretty much. Okay, and then when I'm done filling in the shape, I'm going to go clean that up, um, all the little mistakes that I made with the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the color Fawn. And I like this concealer because it's HD, meaning it's going to look amazing and flawless in pictures. You're not going to get like any type of like flashback that's going to be too crazy. As long as you get the right color for your skin, then you're going to get like some amazing results with this. And then blending it out a little bit with my finger there. Next, I'm taking my LA Girl Pro Conceal. This one is in the shade Orange, actually. It's a color corrector. And the reason that I do this is because um, I want to color correct, meaning I want to take away all the darkness on, in my skin before the foundation. That way, I don't use as much foundation, and then my skin looks even more even, if that makes sense. Um, so it looks like all, all one tone. And then I'm going to go in with this nice little combo here. It is the L'Oreal Pro Glow Foundation and then the LA Girl Pro Conceal Foundation, I think it's called. It's just the HD foundation. I'm using the e.l.f. Foundation Blurring Brush, one of my favorite brushes right now, by the way. Amazing. And uh, taking the LA Girl Pro Conceal plus my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer underneath the eye. And I've heard that the Wet n Wild concealer is a huge dupe for the NARS uh, Creamy Radiant. And I can, I can see why people would say that, but it just doesn't last as long as I would like it to. That's why I mix it with the LA Girl Pro Conceal. This combination has been amazeballs, by the way, and in total only about $5 to get complete coverage, um, also a very great for photos and for film. So next I'm taking the Ruby Kisses Face Creator in the darkest shade that I think they have. This one is level 16 and then I'm going to be carving out my face with that and blending out the cream contour with my e.l.f. Brush blush brush, I think this, this one's called. And even before I set everything with the powder, it just looks beautiful on the skin. I'm taking the Revolution Makeup Banana Powder, and this is my first time using this. Um, I can make a separate review video on this if you guys want. So far, I've only used it once or twice, and I'm not sure how I feel about it yet. So if you guys want me to keep using it and kind of give you guys a review, let me know, and then I can do that for you. Just let me know. So next I'm taking the NYX White Eyeshadow Base and my NYX Ultimate Brights Eyeshadow Palette. I'm using the orangey, corally color here. Next I'm going to go in with this color right here. This one is a just like a pink, um, like a hot pink color. The next color I'm going to use is this Be Bella Cosmetics uh, blue shade, but honestly it's purple. I don't know why it says blue. Um, and I'm only using a tiny, tiny bit of it because it is super pigmented, so I want to just make sure that the pink kind of turns purple on my eye instead of being like a dark, dark purple, if you get what I mean and mixing in the pink over top of it to make it more pink and kind of just going back and forth between the blue and the pink until I got a nice color that I like. Next I'm taking the NYX eyeshadow base in white one more time and using that to make my halo in the middle. And if you guys ever have any issues making your eyeshadows pop, I highly, highly recommend this NYX white eyeshadow base. 
um, just make sure you don't use too too much of it otherwise it will crease on you and that is not a good look I know that for sure so <laughs> yeah next I'm taking the white front sorry no oh my god next I'm taking the yellow from the NYX ultimate bright shadow palette there and using that on the center of my eyelid and then going underneath my eye to kind of smoke it out a little bit using the same colors as I used on top of my eye using the orangey corally color and then going in with the B Bella Cosmetics um, purplish blue color. Next I'm taking my NYX Glitter Glue and my Eye Candy Cosmetics Peach Fizz Glitter and I'm just gonna pack that on the center of my eyelid. This glitter is so freaking pretty you guys. It is beautiful in person. Like just honestly the, the prettiest glitter I've ever used. And now I'm gonna be brushing away all of that powder that I put all over my face and yeah this is what the powder looks like. Let me know what you guys think of it. Um, I'm not a huge fan at the moment but you know you never know maybe I'm using too much of it <laughs> next I'm taking my NYX vivid halo eyeliner and um, this is the yellow color from the NYX ultimate brights eyeliner set collection that they have out right now next I'm taking the wet n wild comfort zone palette y'all this palette is amazing especially this color right here this eyelid color you guys I'm gonna use it on my brow bone and as a highlight and just like watch it look at it like just freaking beautiful and then I'll show you on the other side too where I kind of like packed it on a lot more um, when I turn you'll see it here it's just freaking bomb if you want your highlight to be popping and you only want to spend like five dollars like I would recommend it it's amazing taking the NYX blush in the shade summer and using that as my blush color it's very pretty it's just a bright orangey reddish color and my Mario Badescu rose water spray over top of that I'm using my NYX dewy finish spray and I use two setting sprays or more don't judge me okay I like to be extra and then I added in some um, dots in the middle of my eyes I forgot to film that part but yeah that's pretty much it and by the way, the lipstick that I'm wearing is actually from NYX as well, and it's called Embellishment. I feel like a cute little anime black magical girl. Um, I just feel so cute. Like, it's just cute as heck. It's very springtime. It's very hello spring. My name is Shantrina's. Anyways, you guys, thank you guys so much for watching, and please leave me a comment. Give me a thumbs up if you want to see more videos from me like this, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.